one. Woo! Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see that. I love the detail. Can you see the details? Yeah. Oh, this is this is amazing. So there is that one piece, and then there is another one. This one has you know lines and everything. Hey peeps, hey peeps, welcome, welcome back to Saisamunga, this is Saisamunga and I'm so glad to have you here, how have you been, how is it going, I am doing fine, thank you so much for the love that you have shown, I do videos about being bold, being brave and being courageous in, in different topics with a series and having guests on the channel, so I do a lot of interviews and I also do random, random vlogs. And so you would enjoy watching things that talk about being bold, being brave, being courageous, interviews, random vlogs, then you should subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, you can do it just now. It will take you less than a minute to subscribe. You can also hit the notification so that you don't miss any video that I'll be putting out. I post twice a week, any day of the week. So be on the lookout. So let's get into the video. And so today, this episode is sponsored by... by the cream flavors bakers they have the ones who have sponsored this episode and i'm just going to be telling you about it just in a minute so happy new month and let's get into it questions not to ask a woman number one and that's like my most my most it's very personal to me as well is are you pregnant like really really if we do not know each other in a level or in a manner that we discuss myself in that like shouldn't ask Especially for women, don't ask another woman if she's pregnant or not. Wait it out. Wait it out. Um, in 2019, I posted a photo. I'll link it somewhere. I posted a photo and I got a lot of messages. I got a lot of texts. Are you pregnant? Others saying congratulations. Others saying, oh, we are happy for you. And all that. And I wasn't, you know. And it wasn't, it wasn't a good taste. It wasn't a really good taste. So don't ask a woman if she's pregnant. Nothing gives you the right to ask a woman if she's pregnant or not. Unless she willingly gives you that piece of information, don't. Um, other than that question, the rest, the rest, because there are ten questions, the rest nine questions, I got them from my Facebook, my Instagram, and my WhatsApp. I asked everybody on every platform to tell me the questions they would not want to be asked as women and so these are the other nine questions just that one nobody talked about it but that is my personal question that don't ask me if i'm pregnant and don't ask another woman if she's pregnant so let's get into the other nine questions that you sent to me some of them i can understand some of them i'm like oh okay so this makes the women not feel so good so number two do you love me was like when will you get married or why are you not married does that question have an answer really i personally i don't mind being asked that because i always <laughs> i always have an answer for that question anytime you ask me why i'm not it depends by the first of all it depends on my mood on that day and also it depends who you are and also it depends on where we are at so sometimes i'm like i mean next month or sometimes i'm like i i don't think so you didn't know i'm not for it i think for me i answer it depending on those three things especially when are you getting married i don't know whether there's a timer or there's a time that all of us should get married but don't ask a woman when she's getting married if you are not actually the one marrying her please don't ask that question you know if you are interested tell her i want to marry you stop asking her when when are you getting married ask her you do want to marry you know like get direct to the question and then um relatives aunties who when we meet in those occasions you're asking us when are you getting married really is it is it that necessary you know um and then they make it sound so tasteless for you you are in an occasion you're probably at a wedding or at a birthday party or at a baby shower and then they're like so when are you getting married eh hey, when are you if she knew when she was getting married, she would have already told you guys, so let her be. Question four. When will you get a child? Yeah! I think ideally I should be the one to know when I would want to have a child, when I am emotionally stable to have a child, mentally stable to have a child, financially stable to have a child. It's not just one of those things you go and buy, it's like a handbag you just buy from the supermarket and you go home with it, or sugar and you go home with it, really. Um, don't ask a woman, when, when, are you, when are you getting a child? Especially kuna mtu aliniambia in Kiswahili ati kwani unazaa lini? Yeah. Others said when when will you get a second child? 
Yeah, mama, you... Oh, you already have one child. They're asking you when you look at a second. What gives you the right to invade someone else's privacy like that to ask them? When are they getting a second child? You don't know how they even got the first one. You don't even know what they went through to get the first one. Now you're already pressuring them to get the second one. Please let people be. Let people be. Five. Where is the father of your kids? I don't know. I've, I've, I don't know. I don't know how that question goes. If you've ever been asked that question, and for the person who sent me this question, kindly comment down below. Let me know. When was the last time you had sex? Wow. I think the person who wrote this question <laughs> uh, actually even gave me a background and told me this was in an office setting. So, how does me having sex and work related? Uh, or how is that affecting my work or my productivity? Have you ever been asked that question? When was the last, <laughs> when was the last time you had sex? Um, if the answer is this morning, does that change the conversation? Or if the answer is last year, a day like today does the answer change does does that change the conversation or does that in enhance the conversation in a different way i don't why are you so big or why are you so thin body shaming someone has asked me ah ukona tumbo kubwa me i'm like hey ah hata ujaniona last month ilikuwa kubwa kuliko hivi <laughs> that's how i respond anyway for those who don't understand so easily please translate for them on the comment section what else have I been asked about weight? You, you have, as someone asked me, and I was really young at the time. I think I was the first year in uni or, yeah, I was just joining uni. At the, the person was like, eh, you have big boobs, now jaza, now kiza. I was so offended. I was like, I was so offended by the way. I didn't respond because then I was young. But now try me, try me, try me on that question about weight. I'll have an answer. Even if you comment about, oh, Akiu Menona, guy, na ungeniona last month, nilikuwa zaidi, hata nimechukisha. In fact, ata wakurutu venya nilikuwa last month. Ama you're like, eh, hey, you've added weight, you're looking so nice. I'm like, yeah, in fact, thank you. I've been feeling nice as well. Like for me, it depends with how you ask the question. That's exactly how I'm going to give it to you. What do you do with your money? Hi. Hey. Higher. This is the thing. I make the money. I go to work. I wake up early. I deal with the stress. Shouldn't I be the one deciding what I'll do with the money? Honestly? When did why did you leave your children back at home and move all the way to Europe to work? Um that's such a hard question. Yeah. I think the person who who sent me this question also added that it it is very hurtful for someone to ask you that when you are in Europe. So people who are watching me from different parts of the world, when you get asked this question, what do you answer? I would want to know what you say, how you respond to it, because I, I have not personally gone through it. Um, but it's it's very insensitive because you don't even know what choices that woman or that father had to make to live. Their children back at home to go and work it's it's there are so many there's so much you do not understand for them to come to make that decision so let them be but if you're in different parts of the world please respond on the comment section let me know what you say what your response is to that question and then finally why don't you wear makeup because I just don't want to it's that simple when I want to, I do. When I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't. So, I want to show you something amazing on this video. I received a package, and that's why I said this. Um, this episode is sponsored by the Cream Flavors Bakers. They're the ones who have sponsored this episode, and so I want to show you what I received from them. It's my PR package, and so I want to show you what I got. Yeah, I can't wait to show you. Ooh, I can't wait to show you. And before I show you, I just want to tell you what they are doing for Valentine's. They are doing an amazing, amazing two packages. One package is love and cakes. Love and cakes. What? So for the love and cakes, you get six mini cakes. Six love heart cakes. You also get a bouquet of roses. And you also get a chocolate. And that will just cost you 3000 But if you buy it, Alibad. Between 5th and 10th, you get it for 2500 Can you imagine? 
So let me show you the love heart cakes first before we go to the other to the other package. So um let me open it. Mm. I love the packaging. Let me show you. This is the packaging so you can see the love hearts. Ooh, you can see the love hearts. So this is the packaging. It's so dope, you know? And it has red, you know. Eh, you can buy this um you can buy this thing for your for your girlfriend, for your sister, for your mom. So this is the packaging. The thing is, I was supposed to have six cakes, which I did get six cakes, but we have already eaten three three cakes. Because we are those people who, before I could get ready to do this video, you can't keep the child away from cake. So we have already consumed three of my pieces, so I remained the three pieces. So this is how it looks. So this is the love heart cake. I love the fact that it has a ribbon. Woo! Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, you can see that? I love the detail. Can you see the details? Yeah? Oh, this is this is amazing. So there's that one piece and then there's another one. This one has, you know, lines and everything. Mm. Uh, if you if you live near my house, you can just come for a cake. I can cut you a piece. Or if you know where I live, please come. I'll gi I'll give you something. And then here please don't come because i'll be uploading this video tomorrow and i'll have consumed the rest of the three of the cakes so you have to buy from the cream flavor bakers so those are the cakes i love them and i love the packaging it's 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 dope so i got the three cakes and that's the love and cakes you get six cakes i've already consumed my <laughs> my other three so you'll get six cakes six mini love heart cakes you also get a bouquet of roses like I have, and you also get chocolate. That package goes for 3,000 Alibad, 2,500. I also got my roses. They smell nice. Actually, if anything, I'm not a flower person. I don't even have a vase, but you know what? Jagitaweza. But look at them, they're amazing, you know? yeah and they smell nice so i got my bouquet of roses and then um then i got the chocolate here's my chocolate like i was talking about here's my chocolate and then i got my bottle of wine rose wine so here is the thing for these three let me show you for six cakes, six mini hot cakes, rose wine, a chocolate, and a bouquet of roses, that is called the Rose Love. Rose Love has rose wine, it has a chocolate, and it has six cakes. Six mini love heart cakes and a bouquet of roses. That is just going to cost 4000 If you buy as Alibad, it's 3500 Look at that package. I can't wait. I can't wait to chill this and taste and then the chocolate i think i'm really just very much excited for the wine than all the other things i'm also excited for the flowers so let me go again for you to remember these packages so there are two packages there's love and cakes love and cakes has six mini love heart cakes and has a bouquet of roses and it has a chocolate and that's going to cost you three uh, three th three thousand or if you buy it between 5th and 10th of february it's going to cost you 2500 and then you have the package this package rose love it has got six mini love heart cakes it has got rose wine it has got a bouquet of roses and a chocolate and that's going to cost you 4000 or if you buy as alibad it's going to cost you 3500 and that's between 5th and 10th what do you need to do to get this package conditions you can pay via mpesa i'll give i'll leave the details i'll leave the number down as, as this video continues i'll put on the number you will have to pay a deposit of 70 percent of the full amount so if you're taking both packages you will know you will need to pay uh, 70 for each package you will also need to have fully completed your payment so that you, the packages are delivered to you and finally they do delivery I actually asked her whether they would deliver because they delivered to me and they said at a, 
at affordable prices so you will discuss on the delivery and where you want the delivery done but this is the most amazing part they'll deliver on the 13th on the 14th and on the 15th so if, if you, you go to the main conference on saturday and sunday please buy this package and it will be delivered it will arrive on the 15th you need this package call Lillian. you will get all this and you'll be extremely extremely excited edition this is the valentine edition and i'm excited to be partnering with them and i'm excited to bring you these packages and for you to receive these packages and enjoy enjoy call Lillian from fifth and tell them i sent you actually tell her i sent you you will have an amazing amazing package so i want to end this episode there because i have i have two things to do i want to taste the cake i want to chill the wine and i want to take care of the roses so please like share and subscribe bye, bye.